Education was front and center for the budget discussion at the state capitol, but the conversations this year were not nearly as intense as they were a year ago. Tens of thousands of teachers marched a year ago in downtown Phoenix. The Red for Ed movement started by a young music teacher in the West Valley. But as the fight continues, Noah Carvalis, the man who started a lot of it, is moving on. Fox 10's Matt Rodewall caught up with him this afternoon. What's the story, Matt? Well, John and Carrie, we all have different passions that we like to pursue from time to time, and maybe those things come after your biggest moments. And there are a smattering of teachers that are here right now as we head late into the evening for this year's budget session. A far different scene after 78% of 57,000 teachers across the state voted to walk out and came here to the Arizona State Capitol. But it was that one teacher, that one music teacher, who fought hard and might now be giving up on his fight. But it's really hard to to look at especially elementary school teaching as a career in Arizona and really nationwide. So that, that's an obvious thing too, where you're sitting there and saying, if I ever want to have a family, I don't think I can keep doing this job. Noah Carvalis, the 24-year-old music teacher that ignited the largest labor movement in Arizona's 107-year history, is no longer a teacher. He quit, he's packing up, and he's leaving Arizona for good. It's funny just kind of how things happen. Carvalis started the Red for Ed movement, and now he's set to start a new chapter in Madison, Wisconsin, pursuing a Ph.D. Is he giving up in the fight for Arizona teachers? Even he's been asking himself that. When I decided to go to Madison and pursue this, like I had to do some real soul searching, too, of like, am I checking myself out of this battle that I believe in, this fight, the struggle for our schools and communities. The movement reached its pinnacle when more than 50,000 education supporters marched on the state capitol last year. When you're in it, you don't realize what's really happening. But now, to, and I, I think leaving, I'll get even more perspective on it. Um, but it's uh, something I would have never imagined. That was amazing. That was awesome. And it's been a good thing because it's called attention to education. As the fight for more money winds down this year at the state capitol, education supporters are now reflecting on the impact of Carvallis. I think for years we'll be looking back at the impact that Noah had on the public school system for being such a positive example of what our schools need to be. We need more educators like that, and it's really a shame that he's leaving the state because I think he had a profound impact on, on schools for the next dozen, uh, 15 years. You heard Joe Thomas there, the head of the Arizona Education Association, who told me when I spoke with him about it that he said he's been here 27 years, and if you had to ask him after two or three years, he would consider leaving too, which is exactly what Noah is doing, heading to Wisconsin to pursue a Ph.D. at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, about two hours north of where he grew up, so a lot of family influence in terms of his movement as well. There are a lot of teachers here that remain into the night as they continue to work on the uh, budget as well. The Senate just passed the K-12 through portion of the budget, so that will move back over to the House one more time before eventually heading to the governor's office. We expect those conversations to continue to maybe an hour or two before finally wrapping things up for the 2019 budget. Reporting live from the Arizona State Capitol, Matt Rodewald, Fox 10 News.